Hi, I'm Todd with Oxygen 8. Today we're going to be talking about hot gas reheat. What is hot gas reheat? Well, hot gas reheat, as the name would imply, is we're taking warm refrigerant gas that is uh, found in our refrigeration system and using that warm refrigerant gas to reheat air. So where would you use hot gas reheat? Well, hot gas reheat is typically found in dedicated outside air systems. Uh, dedicated outside air systems are um, a specific part of the uh, building envelope that actually brings in the ventilation air to the building um, and conditions it, not just uses it for ventilation. Why do we want to use hot gas reheat? Well, in dedicated outside air systems where we're bringing in, in the summertime, very warm, moist outside air, uh, we want to drive the temperature of that down, uh, not only to remove the temperature so it's not too hot, but also remove the moisture in the air. We don't want to bring in excessive amounts of moisture into the building envelope where mold or mildew can grow on surfaces that may condense from this cold air. So we want to heat that air back up to a more neutral condition so we don't have any condensation and deliver the air in a more neutral temperature and neutral humidity levels that is already in the building. This is an example of a dedicated outside air system. This is actually a, a split dedicated outside air system. So you have an air handling unit here that's gonna bring in the outside air, filter it, heat, cool, and dehumidify it. You would have outside a condensing unit or heat pump where you have your compressor and condenser coils. Typically when you're bringing outside air in, it may go through a heat exchanger first. So you may use a very efficient core type heat exchanger where you're um, transferring energy that's already in the building to the outside air in the summertime to dump, drop that temperature and drop that humidity level down. And in the wintertime, you're gonna heat that air up just from the air that's already in the building. So that's what we call energy recovery. Um, this is actually a straight 100% outside air unit. So maybe the exhaust, you can't get near the outside air duct. Um, so here we're just gonna bring in 100% outside air, but either way, you could have an energy recovery um, core ahead of this or not. Um, it would go through a high efficiency filter. So typically you'd see MERV 13 or higher here. And then it's gonna go through a DX or hydronic coil. In this case, we have a heat pump coil over here. Um, so this is gonna heat and cool. So when you have cold outside air in the wintertime, our heat pump is gonna heat that up to either a neutral condition, such as 70 to 75 degrees, or we can heat that even further to 90, 95 degrees to actually provide heating capacity in the space if you want to. In the summertime, we want to cool that outside air and dehumidify it. So we're going to drive the air temperature down across this uh, heat pump coil to 55 degrees, 53 degrees to make sure it's cool and to drive out as much of that moisture as we possibly can. Um, again, that might be too cold to put into the space. We're always constantly ventilating buildings. If there's not a load in the space, we would just be adding too much cold air. So you could overcool, people would get uncomfortable, or we're just using energy when the building is not fully occupied. In that case, we want to employ a dehumidification cycle that would again make the hot gas reheat coil active. So here you have your heat pump coil. We have another DX coil downstream of that, which is what takes the hot gas and reheats that air. So here we have our Daikin uh, VRV controllers. Um, these are really the smarts of the system as far as controlling refrigerant goes. These are connected to electronic expansion valves that are installed in here and um, brazed and wired back to the controllers. And up here, you're gonna have the DDC controls that's gonna control the entire system. Um, so we're gonna be monitoring your leaving air temperature off of this unit, uh, both temperature, a dew point, which is basically your, your humidity content of the air, sending a signal back to these Daikin controllers um, that will regulate the amount of refrigerant that goes into both your heat pump coil and your hot gas reheat coil. So we can dictate the exact temperature, the exact humidity content of the outside air before it gets into your building. Um, we can do that very energy efficiently through an all electric heat pump system by utilizing free reheat through your hot gas reheat system if you have high efficiency core energy recovery units, greatly reduce your load that's on your refrigeration system here. Um, so we can provide a very comfortable, safe, healthy environment indoors 
uh, for the occupants and um, have a very low energy solution for you. And that concludes our short little chat today about hot gas reheat and how do you apply that to dedicated outside air systems. Mm -hmm.